Hi guys, it's Ray. I am working on Christmas tumblers today. Starting them. I'm going to use Touch of Rose Cheat from It's Pretty Personal on this one and Ornaments from Element OP Design Boutique. And I'm working on a um, kilp. A 30 ounce curve. No, this is a 20 ounce curve from Maker Flow Crafts. I'm going to put the Christmas lights on the bottom. Or sorry, this one's ornaments. Just about to the curve. This is gold, red, and white glitter. It's a chunky mix. I'm just making an absolute mess with glitter today and I don't even care. Okay, so the bottom is coated and I want to come up that curve just a little bit. I thought about doing a little bit at the top too, but I'm going to skip that and just come up the curve a little bit more. Okay. So that should be plenty of that. I'm going to set that aside. I'll clean up in a minute. And I'm going to bring in my fine. I don't normally use my cheats as a um, full coverage, but I want to see how this rose looks. I haven't had it on a cup yet, and I thought it might blend in really nicely with the mixed glitter. So... And I think it is. You can see that rose shine through. I'm actually just going to sprinkle a little further down and fill any gaps. I'm not going to do full coverage all the way. I'm just going to kind of let it waterfall and wherever it catches a gap, it catches a gap. So that is it. I'm going to let this dry, get two coats of epoxy on it, and when it's ready for decal, I will come back. Okay, so I am ready to decal this one. I'm going to put this on it. Um, some of the bottom's going to go over the curve and get a little bit wonky, I think, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to soak my decal and wet down the cup. I printed this decal on Hippo brand water slide decal paper. Uh, links will be in the description below, links to the glitter. All of that links to the image I used. This is another one that I found on Creative Fabrica. So I'm gonna get it on here and get it slid. I have this like facing away from me, so like I said, I knew going in it was gonna be a little bit big. Um, I printed it twice. <laughs> The first time I printed it too small, I thought, and it was too boxy. So the second time I made it bigger and stretched it, and I should have made it just a little bit shorter. But I didn't want to go for a third time. So I'm going to try and work around the curve a little bit. I'm actually going to push it up a little bit and then trim off that excess at the top. I'm just going to keep working it and make it hug the curve.
and I will get that little bit of extra trimmed off the top once it's dried on here. I don't want to mess with it while it's wet. But that feels pretty good. So I'm going to grab a dry towel and just blot it. And I will let that dry thoroughly and get some resin on it. So, there we go. So, I just clear coated this entire thing without recording because it seems to be the week for that. But I had cleaned up my edge with a flap wheel to take care of the excess of the water slide. And I just put the clear coat on. So, um... Not super duper happy with the sizing of the decal, but I don't hate it. It's going to need to be sanded after this coat, and then it's going to get one more clear coat, but it's not going to affect the overall look of the cup. So this is the last you're going to see of this one here. So thank you for watching.